The Meta Quest 3 has been officially announced and let's dive into the details of what's to come. So more news will be uh, revealed on September 27th during this year Connect event, which will likely be the pre-order time. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and break down everything we know, as well as explore the interesting features that was showcased in this latest trailer. So the leak information about the Quest 3 was accurate, aligning with the depict design that the headset is 40% slimmer and will feature a unique 3 pixel, like 3 pill size components in the front. But a particular interest are the controllers, which lack the cameras like the Quest Pro does, but offers a true haptic feedback similar to the Quest Pro controllers. While it's not a massive groundbreaking technology for tracking like the Sony PSVR 2 controllers, they do provide a precision in tracking allegedly and the capability to predict even the smallest subtle movements, which will be definitely interesting to see how these controllers track without a camera. It's reasonable to assume that the Quest Pro controllers will also be compatible with the Quest 3 as they'll serve an amazing alternative if you need tracking capability with a camera. Now, the Quest 3 has obviously went undergone a complete redesign and reimagined look than ever before, resulting in a 40% slimmer profile. Notably, the fascia interface is completely removable, very similar to the Quest 2. Initially, concern arise regarding about the strap removal capabilities, but the design of the edges suggests that it can be detached. However, this means it won't be compatible with the Quest 2 straps due to the power connector as presented. Internally, the headset will feature a fabric-like material, though specifications remain unclear and an interesting observation is the movement of the lens. Although the video doesn't show the knob responsible for it, but based off the visual roll knob on the bottom right here on this video, it's safe to assume that the lens are indeed adjustable with a manual scroll wheel, even though it hasn't been explicitly mentioned. Despite it being actually slightly heavier than the Quest 2, due to its internal components, the Quest 3 is thinner, allowing for a closer fit to the face, potentially improving comfort. It boasts double the GPU processing power and offers a high resolution display for clearer and sharper visuals. This comes at a pleasant surprise and an enhancement in overall gameplay experience. More and more, the Quest 3 embraces mixed reality capabilities as the official announcement incorporates a depth sensor as seen in this video demonstration of a full color pass through. Reports indicate that users will be able to actually see what's on their iPhone as well as Apple Watch. Though the pass through cameras, which perform extremely well, the headset employs two color pass through cameras on each side accumulated by the depth sensor in the center. This depth precision feature enhances the mixed reality experience and enables a better detection of physical boundaries, making it ideal for guardian functionalities. The Quest 3 aims to transform your home into a virtual playground, offering controllers with true haptic touch for a full immersion experience that engages your sensors. However, it's remained to be seen how these controllers will track without the dedicated ring. The headset is expected to support a library of larger, richer, and more immersive games and experience, including our previous favorites. It's clear that the Quest 3 is potentially more powerful than the current Quest 2. Now, we do have two important updates regarding around the current Quest 2 as well as the Quest Pro. So starting on June 4th, they will actually be lowering the price of the Quest 2 to $299 USD for the 128GB model, and then $349 for the 256 helping more people have access to this amazing VR headset before it's discontinued. Furthermore, in the next big update for the Quest 2 as well as the Quest Pro, we are expected to receive a massive increase in performance in both GPU and CPU as both the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro will see up to 26% CPU performance increase with a 19% GPU speed increase for the Quest 2 
and 11% for the Quest Pro. So games and apps can really take advantage of this new increased pixel density without dropping frames. As developers have taken advantage of these changes, people can expect a smoother gameplay, a more responsive UI, and a richer contrast in both headsets. Now, although specs haven't really been officially released, they didn't mention this in this video, we expect this information to arrive in fall with more information further coming on September 27th during the Kinect. So stay tuned for future updates as we closely monitor the development of the Quest 2, but I'm really hyped for this new VR headset. Even though it's slightly heavier, but the fact it's much smaller, it has a much better balance ratio than the previous headset i could definitely see this new design becoming more comfortable and easier to use especially when you utilize those new oddly shaped wally like inspired design i want to say pixel cameras that it has in the front if it does a real good job in terms of in-depth field of view and stuff like that this headset is definitely will definitely be revolutionary i'm definitely looking forward to it other than that that's my thoughts and that's all the news there is to know about the current quest 3 yes it's on its way but is it better to get a quest 2 uh, i don't know comment down below and let me know your thoughts if this price change is actually does make the quest 2 worth it knowing everything that the quest 3 will have anyways thanks so much for watching take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya